Craig Hassel from Wikipedia, the You Get What You Pay For Encyclopedia. Tim Pitch, commonly known by his professional stage name Prick Assel, is an Australian artist who is known for using his penis, scrotum and buttocks to paint portraits, landscapes and female nudes. Background Patch was born in the United Kingdom. He attended Oakwood Preparatory School in Chichester and then went on to attend Bambridge School on the Isle of Wight. After Bambridge, Patch went on to study at the Portsmouth College of Art and the Royal West of England Academy. Unable to earn a degree in fine arts, he attended furniture design courses and became a builder. In 1977, he migrated from the United Kingdom to Australia, and from 1978 to 1982, he exhibited wood carvings and other artworks in art galleries. In 1984, Patch established Hellfire Pottery with his sister, which produced various pottery and ceramic works. In 2002, Patch began work on building a Gaudi-style house and art gallery, and during the same period, he began working as a portrait and caricature artist in markets in Queensland. Patch states that he conceived of the idea of painting with his penis in 2005. Inspired after watching puppetry of the penis, he drew a smiley face in the back of a urinal with his penis, and then decided to attempt it at home using paint. After telling a friend of his work, she had him paint at a 2005 New Year's Eve party on a dare. In 2006, Patch chose the name of Prick Asso, a portmanteau of Prick, a slang term for penis, and Picasso. Work and Appearances in an interview with Volva, Picasso said that portrait work is the most challenging type of painting, so he set himself a goal of painting an accurate-looking portrait within 20 minutes. Due to normal paint containing lime, which erodes the skin, Picasso makes his own water-based paints. Before he begins painting, he also covers his penis and buttocks in Vaseline in order to work for several hours without causing irritation to his skin. While art galleries showed little interest in his paintings, Picasso became a regular attraction at sexpo exhibitions around the world, where he paints portraits for attendees. Picasso's appearance at the 2010 Expo Sejo y Entretenimiento México was cancelled after censors from the Mexico City authorities attended the exhibition to verify the shows. He made his North American debut at the 2011 Miami Exposed Expo and signed an agreement to appear exclusively at future Exposed Expo events. In 2008, Picasso entered a nude self-portrait into the Archibald Prize. His submission came after an unsuccessful entry in the 2007 competition, using a portrait of plastic surgeon Joseph Georgie. Frey Castle told Falafel that while celebrities tend to be wary of him having painted their portrait, he has painted at private parties for famous individuals after agreeing to not publicize the event. Charlie Murphy was one celebrity who Picasso noted as approving. In the latter half of 2010, Picasso appeared on the fourth season of German TV talent show Das Supertalent. After painting a female portrait on the stage, Sylvie van der Werth wrote it down the performance, but he progressed to the next round due to the support of the two male judges on the panel, Dieter Bolin and Bruce Darnell. In November 2011, Picasso appeared on Tosh.0, 
where Daniel Tosh interviewed and commissioned a picture of himself painted by the artist. Response to Technique Nicolas Chere, in an article titled Sexing the Canvas, has linked Picasso's work with statements by classic modern painters who refer to the activity of painting as a seminal or spermatic activity with sexual connotations. In the lead-up to the 2008 Sexpo in Cape Town, Picasso published a video online showing him creating a painting of then-mayor of Cape Town, Helene Zelie. Although he stated the painting was not meant to insult or embarrass Zelie, the Times reported that two art galleries in Johannesburg declined to associate themselves with Picasso's artwork. The curator of Moha Modern Art Gallery suggested that the ridicule of his work could abate in 50 years' time and his painting seen as having broken boundaries in art. Julia Charton, the senior curator of the Wits Gallery, said that it is not a question of whether it is art, but whether it is, quote, good art, unquote. Charton and Peter van Erden, the director of the Pretoria Art Institute, stated that how he painted did not determine the artistic nature of his work, with Charlton adding that art is not only meant to be pleasant but provocative, and it should get people talking. Van Erden further stated his work is not offensive and that work only become art when they are great. On hearing of Picasso painting, Zilli stated this is a free country. A free society throws up these kind of people who exercise their freedom in unusual ways. And if this is how he wants to do it, I must accept his constitutional right to do so. Zilli further commented that Picasso achieved a good likeness and I can't imagine how he painted it without brushes. In November 2011, Picasso participated in the Gold Coast Sculptors Society exotic erotic show. The controversial nature of his technique caused several members of the society to object to his participation, with one member resigning in protest. Picasso responded to criticism by saying, I think I'm just as good as anyone with a brush and are probably a lot quicker. They can complain if they want to, but other people love it. See also Milo Moiré, artist who expels paint from her vagina to create paintings. <laughs>